Hello, folks. This is your Hollywood reporter, Dick Simmons, back on an MGM soundstage once again. You know, if we were running one of those radio guessing games, we scarcely could hope to fool you with our guest today. His drawling voice is unmistakable. Likewise, is this description of him. He's the motion picture star who won an Academy Award in the Philadelphia story. His latest is a picture we've heard called one of the best of the year. Metro Golden Mayor's The Stratton Story. Yeah, it's a pleasure, Jimmy Stewart, to have you here. So come on, climb aboard and tell us all about yourself. Well, you seem to have covered the subject pretty well. Oh, no, there's plenty left to tell about Jimmy Stewart. Your experiences in the Air Force, your life in Hollywood, your work, anything, anything you like. Anything I like, huh? Well, that makes it easier. I'd like to tell you about a man. You might say it's talking about myself, too. I spent several months being this fellow. Well, look, it sounds like you're running a guessing contest. Who is this man? Well, you mentioned the Stratton story a moment ago. Well, it's about a man, a real-life living man named Monty Stratton. About as regular and courageous a guy as I've ever met. He was a Chicago White Sox baseball star, wasn't he? Yes, until fate struck him about as cruel a blow as could happen to an athlete. You'll probably remember how back in 1938, a hunting accident took away his right leg. And it probably cost him a chance at baseball's Hall of Fame. He was that good. Hmm, and that's the story you've put on the screen. Well, that's part of it. Monty's story goes way beyond that. You see, it really begins when he was a big, awkward Texas boy with one great love, baseball. It led him to give up the security of his farm and gamble with a strange life in the big city. That's one story about Monty. Now, there's another. This one's about his love for a girl. From the time they met on a blind date, she became his inspiration. She played a vital part in his remarkable comeback. Uh, tell us about that comeback. You know, it sounds like a very dramatic story. It is. It's a story full of excitement and romance, too. Eight years after his accident, encouraged by the girl he loved, he came back to the game he loved. I suppose that's when Hollywood discovered his story. You know, it must have been a thrilling one to make. Yes, and more so because Monty was right there on the set with us every day as our technical advisor. Uh, how about the love scenes with June Allison? Did he advise you on those two? <laughs> Uh, no, no. When June and I came to those, Monty just sort of disappeared. I asked him about it later, as a matter of fact, and he, he said he didn't figure he could be of any help in the romance department. But I, I'll tell you, I'll tell you where he he did give me some advice, and, and I needed June's advice, too, even with the kidding she gave me about it. Where was that, Jim? Well, in the picture, we show the first of Monty's two sons, Monty Jr., when he was eight months old, and then again when he was about 18 months old. Now, that, uh, that meant two babies in the picture, and each one had a twin working as his stand-in, you see. Now, a situation like that can be mighty rough on a bachelor, believe me. As between babies and baseball, I had my troubles. I, I think I made fewer errors on the diamond, though. Does that mean that maybe you'll be giving up acting for a career in the national pastime? Uh, no. Gee, I still get nightmares every time I think of pitching to Bill Dickey. Now, now I know why Monty calls him the toughest man he ever pitched against in the majors. And, th and then there's another fellow, another fellow named Gene Bearden. You know, he's only the hero of last year's World Series. I had to bat against him. That sounds like a tough spot for an actor or a baseball player. How'd you make out? Hmm, very glad you asked me that. Well, Dickie, Dickie, I, uh, I struck Dickie out. Only took all afternoon to do it, but I struck him out. And and Bearden, well, the game was hanging in the balance. The winning runs were on base, and, well, I, I just came up, got a clean hit. Of course, I only missed a dozen pitches before I connected, but got a clean hit. Well, Jimmy, that sounds as though you had a lot of fun, plus an exciting and unusual experience in bringing Monty Stratton and his remarkable story to the screen. Now, we'll be looking forward to seeing you and June Allison in the Stratton story. And say, will you drop around again? The welcome sign's always out there swinging in the breeze for Jimmy Stewart. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. <laughs>